All right, folks, we're now going to put the water inlet, the coolant inlet tube on, mount that up. Once we figure out a gasket issue, we got a couple of water lines, coolant lines are going to hook up. We're going to put the throttle body in. We already got the uh, uh, purge valve installed and connected up. And we have gotten the wiring where we need it to go. And uh, we got this, we got another tube for the coolant that will connect up to this. So the coolant box will be going in pretty soon right here. Uh, we have all the coils, intake, upper intake, lower intake. We have all wires connected. Everything is where it belongs at this point. So this engine is not far from us throwing a battery in it and starting to purge out some fuel. Uh, so we're going to get some of this done and then see if we can't uh, uh, see if we can get some power to it. First thing we're going to do is pull off the uh, fuel pump so we don't pump fuel all over the place. But uh, yeah, we got a ways to go before crank, but uh, we are really getting close. Everything's coming together like it should. And then of course we have AC, coolant, transmission lines and everything else to put together. But so far, we do have everything, every connector we needed going. We got to put the cowling in and then we can put the PCM in and get that going. So once we get done with this part over here, we're going to work on the, uh, I guess it's the cowling, right? Mm -hmm. And then we can start putting the PCM in and plugging it in and putting grounds connected that we need to. And, and then uh, we'll be where we're at when we're there. in there. Get the square it slipped right in. I can find the hole now. Um. Yep, got it. Got it? There we go. Run her in there. There we go. Yeah, get that one. Now we'll torque her in. I'm sure there's a torque spec. All right, easy. 71 inch pounds. Plus 90 degrees, folks. That's what the spec says. Guess we don't want to leak here, huh? Maybe we should start on the other side a little bit. Balance the load. Right top there. Seventy one, that's getting up there. That's quite a bit for just two little bolts. Yep. Plus ninety degrees. Yep. Sweet. Mark the that's half of one eighty. A quarter of three sixty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought we'll that see. fancy dancy wrench did ninety degrees, three. didn't it? Probably. And if he snaps it, we blame him, not Ford. Yeah. Gosh, 90 degrees. There you go. It didn't break. I don't like tortillas. He was, he was sweating it, I though. was, I was, I'll admit it. He, he was, there's, there's profuse sweat coming off of his forehead during that one, because those are just long, thin, what, 10 millimeter bolts? That's crazy. Eights. These are eights. Eights. Oh. That makes it even crazier. But pray for us. If it breaks, then we have to start over. Did it. Well, 
Pray for no leaks now. <laughs> now we got the metal lower cowling in, so now we can uh, have the space to put the PCM in. And also we can do the next part of the cowling, which is the plastic pieces. And uh, before we do that, I got to check and see. I think we have to put the wiper arms in. So we're going to see what we got to do here first. All right. One bolt. Two bolts. That's all it takes to get your windshield wiper out. Uh, seats in this hole right here. And then, of course, you clip the electrical connector there. But, yeah, you got to remove the upper cowling off of there to get this whole wiper arm off. But it's all going together. And, by the way, your upper cowling, you can separate it into two pieces. So you can remove the one you need to access the wiper and leave the other one intact. All right. We got it in. We got the uh, plastic cowling in there. Again, two pieces. That piece right there and then this piece right here. You got the bolts in there, all nice and cinched down. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six bolts that actually hold that in. And it bolts to the uh, metal cowling. And that's where the PCM goes. So we're going to be sliding a PCM in here. And we're not going to put anything else up here. We're not going to put the upper cowling in just yet. But we will mount the PCM. And then we will make connections to the PCM. And uh, yeah, D Day's coming, folks. D Day is coming. Close, but. All right. PCM's in, folks. Now we're going to drop the battery in because we're going to provide electricity to Herbie and see how Herbie reacts. We'll get, I mean, we're not sure how Herbie's going to react, but Ruth is going to stand by the fire extinguisher, right? Just in case? I don't think it is. Nothing's going to happen. All right. She says nothing's going to happen. We're just going to power Herbie up and see whether or not we did it right. If there is smoke, we won't tell you that we had smoke. And if there is no smoke, I'll be right back. Half, what is it? 22 gallon or so oil change required <laughs> <laughs> driver door jar battery charge needed check engine light airbags and no a pim we have a dead a pim so we got some issues there we go fuel economy 18.3 working trip trip two all the same oh so we're in timer what's on your information you got the entertainment we're not getting anything that's it. yeah the whole that center place isn't even lit up yeah we have nothing here, folks. Did we check so, fuses? I remember I asked if there was a... We have nothing in here, so... Well, that might be good news, because if there's nothing powering this up, then maybe the APM is fine. It's just all in the same fuse. Or yeah, we'll it? have to check some stuff on here, but we don't have the horn hooked up either. Oh, want to try it? No. Okay. We'll just... It's just unplugged. We'll just uh, go ahead and we'll start dumping some fuel. That's the idea behind this. So how big is the tank? Half a tank holds twenty gallons basically. Ten gallons. So we got at least ten gallons of fuel in here we gotta get rid of. But we're not getting much on the center console, so we got a lot of electronics to go through on the inside. But we're gonna start out with an A PIM and then go from there, see what we got. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.